What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general reading for somebody. So let's see who's gonna get this reading. Aquarius! What's up Aqua? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Aquarius as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. The energies might be reversed for you, Aquarius, so take it how it resonates and leave the rest. <sighs> Aqua, two was better than one, okay? I don't know why I felt like I had to say that, but two was better than one. This is a side message. Eight of Ariel, take great pride in excellent work. Practice makes perfect, considering getting additional education or training. Side message, two is better than one. Work together with someone. Okay, to get something done. All right, <clears throat> Aquarius. What's going on with you? Aquarius, let's see. Aquarius, Aquarius. Some of you guys could have life path number nine, or um, that might, number nine might be significant here. And 13 might also be significant, or four. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is three of Gabriel here. Prosperity arising from wise planning. Take time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. So you're planning something. So I will, so that into that intuitive nudge was definitely right about you um, working together with someone. Okay. Um, this this is all going to stem from this planning that you're doing. Okay. So. The first card you have is Epiphany here. Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. You're getting an aha moment. And this is not a coincidence. Look at this. The star and the hierophant. Holy macaroni. What? What? This is this is a major aha moment in your life. These are two major arcanas. This is a... um. This is a realization about your morals and your values or a commitment in your life here and what you truly want out of it. Wow. What is this epiphany here, Spirit, for Sag? Ooh, I'm about to call you Sagittarius. You could be dealing with one um, for Aquarius. Or you could have that in your chart. If you do, go watch that reading. What is this epiphany? I also feel this epiphany is bringing... <laughs> the higher fate came on again. It could be with a Taurus. Um, I feel like the epiphany is bringing spiritual, um, growth towards you. Bottom of the deck is the page of wands here. I don't know why I feel like I have to go slow. I feel like you feel like you have to go slow now with this, um, <laughs> you have the knight of wands here. How can you do that? <laughs> It's like you want to go slow, but someone's like, um, no, let's get it going. You have the Hierophant, the Nine of Wands, and the Six of Cups. This could be about, okay, I'm getting two different messages, so we're going to go with the first one first. Whatever this is, um, I feel like there's someone in your space here. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, a Taurus, or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be, though. Um, it's like they are... I want to say rushing, but I feel like you feel like they're rushing. They're rushing into a commitment. So it's like they want to commit to you. They want to make something solid with you. Um, this person is definitely a soulmate or someone from your past, okay? Um, or there's someone who you have children with. And they're just like, yo, let's just let's just make this official. Let's be more committed to each other. Let's um, take this relationship a little more seriously. It's kind of what I'm getting. The Page of Wands, the Six of Swords in reverse, and the Four of Pentacles, but you don't want to. You're the Six of Swords in reverse. Two of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. I feel like you feel like it's going to be too much to handle, and I also feel like you feel like you're not going to get what you, um, what you put in for some reason. I feel like you feel like you're going to get cheapskated or something like that, but you do know this could definitely be about a marriage, okay? Uh, but I feel like you feel like you're going to get the bad end of the stick if you do this or a commitment to something. Um, that's just what I'm feeling. You've been down this road before, though. You've been down this road. Um, let me see. What is the Six of Swords in reverse?
Nine of Cups is at the bottom. I mean, Nine of Swords. You're really stressed about this. The Hierophant, the King of Cups in reverse, and the Two of Cups in reverse. You know why you don't want to do this, Aquarius? Because the relationship isn't steady right now with this energy. It's not a good, it's not in a good place for you to want to to be in such a serious commitment right now. Um and I feel like that's why you're just like, no. I feel like you're just like, I'm not ready. Or it's or maybe you're just in this relationship. I mean, I'm looking at the the relationship, the relationship isn't ready yet. It's not, and you're right. Um, you have the hierophant here again. And you're just like, well, if this is supposed to match my morals and my values, then why doesn't it feel like it? Why don't I feel like this is for me is what I'm getting. Four of Wands is here again. I feel like someone's still healing something. And that's what's stressing them out. Because I feel like someone hasn't been able to get over something that hurt them. Um, and that could be what is causing a delay here. I feel like you're really confused. But I, I feel like you have to speak up. You have to work together with someone to come to a, an agreement, a realization about something. Where is this Hierophant? The Hierophant could also be a lesson here. Three of Wands in reverse, Queen of Cups, and the Six of Wands. The universe is like agreeing with you, Aquarius. This doesn't have to be a marriage. This could also be an establishment, like a job or something like that, that they want you to be more serious. And you're just like, whoa, like I just got here. Like, can I breathe? Type of energy. Um, but the universe is like with you on that. Like, yeah. Yeah. I feel like a lot of you are going to be successful elsewhere. I'm not going to lie to you. And if this is a marriage and, or um, a commitment to someone, I feel like you're going to be successful elsewhere. Like, this intuitive nudge that you're feeling is right, Aquarius. You absolutely are right. So, go with that, all right? All right, the next card you have is the Three of Raphael here, all right? So, this is reasons to celebrate a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. So, this is the Three of Cups in the regular tarot. This could be about family or friends, something about them or your children. Let's see what this is. Where's the three of Raphael here? Could be three three females. You have the nine of swords. Hold on a second. Let me move this down. You have the nine of swords, the devil in reverse, and the page of cups. I feel like your intuition is telling you to um, release these people. Okay? Because I feel like they're causing you too much stress. You're thinking about these friends, these families. These children is taking, it's just causing you too much stress and you have to release the attachment that you have to these people that it's making you stressed out. Because I feel like there's a, there's a, there's an attachment that you have to these people that is leading to, a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's leading to um, expectations. Like you expect these people to do certain things and they're not doing it and that's what gets you in the nine of swords energy. But the unit, the, your intuition is telling you just release them. Like, you don't have to be, you know, in the energy. Ace of Pentacles in the verse, Nine of Pentacles in the Empress. I feel like you could have offered something um, or, yeah, I feel like you could have offered something or they or they could have offered something to you. Um, and I feel like you offered it out of love. And it didn't stick. Like, somebody ended up walking away anyway and kind of saying, like, whatever. This could, have, this could be you, too. It's like sometimes something was offered to you, um from a source that was reliable and it ended up not working out like you thought okay so it's like what else do you need to, to see here Aquarius in order for you to let these people go okay or create boundaries create space I feel like we've been talking about this too before in another video uh, maybe it was on snapchat I'm not sure but my snapchat in the description box if you guys want to go check that out the next card you have is peace here okay Release the past. There is more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Let's 
What is this piece? Bottom of the deck is a six of swords in reverse. You have the four of wands. Mm. The tower in reverse. The eight of swords in reverse. And the four of pentacles in reverse. You're going to find a lot more peace if you let something go that you are... Um, that you don't want it to fall apart. There's something here that needs to fall apart that you're just like, no, wait, don't fall apart yet. Not yet. Not yet. I feel like you're finding a lot that whatever this is could be a material thing or you're just energetically holding on to an energy that just got to go. Like it, it, it's trying to, this energy is trying to get out of your grasp and you're just like trying to save it because you're just like, well, if you're in my grasp, it's, I'm not, I'm not as stressed out. You know, because it's like, I feel like if you, if this leaves your life, you might be in a stressful energy because you're going to have to figure out how to maneuver. Six of swords in reverse, three of wands, and the ace of wands in reverse. But you're waiting. It's like you're waiting for something to be brought to you and nothing is going to be brought to you, Aquarius. Um, I feel like the longer that you wait for something to happen or something to just like help you release this the more you wait the the more you're moving backwards okay with the six of swords in reverse yeah like you know already what you have to do here um and i feel like some plans might not work out the way you want to because of it because it's like you're delaying this choice you're delaying releasing this okay all right, so I pulled. I'm. A, I feel like I'm gonna pull analogy for everybody because we are gonna have a. I think we have a new one today, or is it tomorrow? Um. So, luck is on your side. If you let this go, the universe will be there to help you. Okay. What is this epiphany? Oh my goodness! These cards just can't stay. Some of you guys are really antsy. You need to um be around some water. Okay to calm your energy you have meditate and contemplate new moon and pisces like i said we're having a new moon um i feel like by the new moon you're going to know exactly what to do with this um situation that someone wants to make it serious here i also feel they want you to think about it they want you to think about it they don't want you to make any hasty decision step out of your comfort zone yeah you're, you might have to do something that you're not comfortable with um whether that's accepting the commitment or saying no to the commitment to depending on who you are it's going to be different okay what is the three of Raphael? you have the time to give rather than take the universe wants you to give energy into yourself right now and stop giving to these families to these friends because they don't have the best intentions for you i'm sorry this could be a virgo luck is on your side okay you will be fine some of you guys are like but i need these you know i need to i need to work with them i need this no, you don't. And if they're mad and upset that you're that you are creating boundaries or separating yourself from them, then that's even a more of a clear um, indication that they're not supposed to be in your life. If people are upset because you're moving good for you, that is the that is the only sign you need. I keep wanting to call you Sagittarius. A new start is coming. New moon again, bro. These are both of these are new moon too. That's crazy. All of this could be happening really, really soon. Okay, I think the new moon is tomorrow or it's today. I don't know. Peace. What is this peace spirit? That flew out. Hold your vision. <laughs> They're like. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is emotions are running high. It's like, who cares, Aquarius? That's what I'm getting. Like, that flew out and it was kind of like, Aquarius, remember what you want. What is it that you want? Do you want something fake or do you want something real? Which one is it? Like, that's kind of what I'm getting. Because you have a certain vision for yourself and whatever you're holding on to is not part of that vision. So why are you holding on to it, boo? What What is this? Is it the fear of change that is causing this? Okay, but the longer you hold on to this, the more things are going to be delayed. So um, expect powerful change and the energy is gaining momentum. I mean, your world is going to, I see it. Your world is going to switch. 
is going to go from like dark to light. And that is what you're scared of is that transition. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Everything happens for a reason. And this is happening to allow peace. Peace will come to you. You know you have not been in a peaceful energy these past two, three years. I can tell you that. You know that. And it's because you're energetically holding on to something that gotta go. And you know what this is. You know what this is. You're not oblivious to it because it, it irks you. It brings, it like, it messes up with your mojo. Whatever this is. All right, Aquarius. All right, that's all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.